What we know is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. And if you'd rather keep your drop of knowledge free from Dark Season 3 finale spoilers, we suggest you come back when you finish watching the series. There are series like Lost and Game of Thrones, the endings of which came abruptly and felt out of place for many fans. Then there's Dark. The showrunners planned this series in the form of a trilogy since the very beginning. So technically, we, as well as the main characters of the show, were supposed to get the closure we deserved in season three. But did we, Mr. Scoffer? The finale of Dark left me with mixed feelings, most of which are, well, dark. The ending erases everything we found out throughout the series. All the twists, connections, and complex family ties just fade to nothing. Quick recap to clear things up. At the end of season two, we discover that there are two worlds, the one that Jonas is from and the alternative one Martha is from. Their older versions, Adam and Eva, fight each other in a never-ending cycle. Eva wants the cycle to go on to save her child from Adam, while Adam wants to untie the knot between their two worlds and end the loop they've got themselves into, along with Martha's child, who he believes is a link between his and Eva's world, and along with both worlds if necessary. But in the very last episode, we discovered that the time loop between the two worlds cannot be broken because there's a third world the origin world. And it all started there, when the clockmaker Tannhaus lost his son, daughter-in-law, and granddaughter in a car accident. He built a time machine, hoping to bring them back, breaking his world in two and creating Adam and Eve's two worlds. And to prevent the cycle of never-ending pain and intersecting timelines, to prevent everything we saw happen throughout the three seasons, Jonas and Martha from both worlds need to prevent the car accident in the origin world and save Tannhaus's family. And the end of the series is just, well, them doing exactly that. And it feels empty. I know, I know, it's supposed to feel peaceful, since all the suffering is prevented, and no one has to go through the same circle again and again. Jonas wasn't happy with the events in his world, and neither was Martha, and they sacrificed themselves to prevent the apocalypse of everything the origin world might become. But with that, they also prevent many people from their world from ever existing. One only fully realizes it when watching the last minutes of the series after Martha and Jonas disappear. None of what we've experienced and watched for three seasons happened. Exactly! You feel tricked! As if all your feelings and empathy for the characters were for nothing! Evaporated! The blood was never shed, the experiments never took place, major characters were never born! Mr. Fully Lover. I know that it sounds like the strangest thing coming from me, but in a way, the ending of Dark gives hope. Really? How can you say that after that gloomy final speech on apocalyptic dreams and darkness that takes away all the worries and passions of life? But the apocalypse didn't happen. The lights went back on in Winden, and life went on as well. Martha and Jonas didn't just disappear for nothing. They saved the future that wasn't tangled into a loop. If not for their sacrifice, this new future wouldn't be possible. Besides, there still might be place for them and all the inhabitants of the worlds that never existed, in the origin world. That's what Hannah's decision to name her child Jonas represents. Well, I sure hope that everyone will find new life in this origin world, and that it will be better than in Jonas and Martha's worlds. There was too much darkness in their fates. They deserve a chance for something better. And how did you like the ending of Dark? Did it feel satisfying? Or did it feel like staring into the void? Let us know in the comments. Roar! Roar! Roar!